Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel. Just remember this could resonate for your Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus sign. It's also timeless, but it may not resonate for every Cancer. So let's get into the message. Um, what I heard just before I started this was you might you might just fuck around and find your purpose this week um, for some of you guys. So yeah, just remember this won't resonate for everyone. Um, and then the cards that I've pulled first is we've got community and confidence in reverse. So what this is telling me is that some of you may have um, in the recent past or maybe even the last week lost confidence in a community or a group of people, um, maybe one person. Uh, you know, it feels like these were people that you loved at some point or had some kind of appreciation or respect for. But I'm getting that something isn't funny anymore, right? I don't know what this community has been doing. We could look into it, but it's just not funny anymore. And <clears throat> we got the woodpecker here. So some of you may have had an opportunity arise um, in your life in general that's going to be giving you a lot of strength moving forward with the eagle in the future position. And I'm just getting like, you you might just, yeah, it's like you're not fucking around or something um, at this point in time. You're not messing around with people that have poor or low self-esteem. Um, you know, people that want to drag you down. It's given like tall puppy syndrome or people that just don't resonate with you, right? I feel like you guys are really, you've, you've lost faith in, in either someone or a group of people. Um, and the reason being is because they seem to be individuals that, um, yeah, like <laughs> they're like shapeshifters, right? And I'm getting that you have set some very firm boundaries. Like there's Aquarius energy out here too. So, you know, some of you have taken a loss over like literally like some type of group or family unit. Um, there may have been arguments, doesn't have to have been, but you've set boundaries here and I'm getting that because you've done that and you're not finding what these people have been doing funny anymore um, or this community funny it's like you're not amused by it anymore it's like you're, you're gonna decide to be smart Gemini Libra Aquarius could also be um, in your chart as well okay it's like yeah I'm getting this vibe where you're very unemotional, just like the Aquarius energy. You're unemotional about whatever's going on. You might have even found yourself being a bit like sarcastic with this group or this person. Um, you know, I just feel like you're being very kind of, I kind of want to say rational. Yeah, Spirit says that's the truth because you could have found out some kind of truth or spoke some kind of truth, whatever that may be. But either way, Cancer, you have like you're you're knock knock knocking on a knocking on an opportunity for yourselves at this moment in time. I can see that. Um, and yeah, with the eagle, it's like you're about to do something solo, right? So you're about to hold oh, the vine, bro. So you might have heard something through the grapevine or got some type of information here through the grapevine, um, or maybe you seeked out information from this community or something like that, man. But yeah, I'm getting like, you might just fuck around and find your purpose this week. <laughs> okay, so I love it. I love the download. Um, with the eagle, I'm feeling like, you know, eagles soar alone. And yeah, they get pushed out of the nest really young and they have to learn to fly really young. But, you know, it feels like whoever you are, there's some kind of mission you're going on or direction in your path where you kind of have to soar alone or... And that's a part of you trusting your intuition because there is some kind of opportunity arising for you guys um, over the next week if you're seeing this message. Yeah, look, the bird is here. Oh, look, you're flying away to, you're flying away. That's what I'm getting. You set yourself free and the eagle is representing strength in this reading. So you've got the strength to move away from something like potentially people that are very calculated you know, people that are very um, controlling, um, you know, sarcastic. Yeah, like something like that. And uh, yeah, it's like you're going to be seeing things from the eagle's point of view as well, right? I'm getting, you, you've got a whole bird's eye point of view. And actually, when I think about it, there's a lot of birds in this reading. One, two, three, four. There's a woodpecker, kookaburra, eagle flamingos and then this bird um could be like sparrows could be significant 
but I'm hearing spirits got you. So, yeah, tribe, like that's Lady Yaz. And I feel like whoever you are, you're very confident, okay? You didn't fit in with this group or you don't fit in with this community or whoever, if it's a person, like your confidence outshines them is what I'm getting. Like, and I keep seeing the tall poppy, right? Like you, it's something like tall poppy syndrome. You know what I mean? You're just different to these people. <laughs> Some of you may be too happy for these people. Some of you may be gay and that could be why you don't fit in with this group. You take it how it resonates, but with Merkaba, this is telling me that you have Metatron protecting you, guiding you, giving you, um, giving you the perspective that you need to soar, to soar away from this situation, right? And you've got money coming in as well. So yeah, the angels are assisting you guys to manifest money at this time. Oh, she. And not only that, but also new love, Cancer. If you guys are not in a relationship, don't take this if you are in a relationship. But if you're not in a relationship, I'm getting that Metatron and the angels, your ancestor spirit guides are guiding your intuition towards a soulmate. Um, this is going to be considered, but see, like, see that fly? I have no idea where he came from. And this could piss off this group, right? They could be like evil eyeing you or something like that bruh not today not today satan right you might just fuck around and find your purpose this week cancer you might just fuck around and run into a soulmate um you might just fuck around and run into some money right oh shit yes you will yes you will cancer i cannot believe this and this is all because you decided to stop giving your energy to a community you take that how it resonates okay because, yeah, these people could try to stab you in the back, right? Or you may have some kind of fear. There's some kind of tense situation. And I'm getting somebody may have betrayed you in this group um, or could try to betray you, right? You, This is somebody with great pride, okay? They like to parade around like they're a motherfucking peacock and not in a pretty way, all right? Um, so, yeah, you've got a situation for some of you that requires balance and careful handling this week. Um, but I'm seeing a lot of freaking blessings coming from your strength by the end of it, right? And the angels, your ancestors, spirit guides guiding you all along the way. Um, you may even be called to sort of just be very intuitive in how you move over the next week, um, especially around these friends, right? There's This could be friends or this group of people or, or relationship. You take what resonates. Like, they've definitely hurt you, so you need to be cautious how you move forward because um, I'm hearing strategy. Like, these people these people are strategic. They may try to, like, do something rebellious. <laughs> rebellious, kind of like outlaws, right? Could be waiting to stab you in the back in some way. So, yeah, you got to move strategically. Yes, they fucking will. <laughs> Let's freaking see what that's about. Um... Right, I'm getting, look, for some of you, you may have someone try to trap you towards them, okay, or suck you into this community again, um, but it's because you've got someone new entering your life. I feel like some of you have beautiful new love. You're going to consider yourself very lucky. You also have big money coming towards you. Right? Some of you may have already been manifesting this money. Um, you've taken a bit of a pause and reflection period from it, and you've got a new beginning coming. So Spirit's saying, if some of you, if this was a love relationship that you guys have walked away from, uh, I'm getting like this person could have been trying to block you from healing or something like that. Um, now that you've walked away from it, yeah, they did. You are going to heal. And I feel like some of you could be even be attracting a very, I'm hearing wealthy soulmate. Oh, fucking hell. Look what just flew out. I, uh, some of you are attracting a very wealthy soulmate. Um, so... That's your new beginning in love within a few weeks, gang. Like, this shit's going down, right? On top of that, you got some real big luck, real big luck going around in your aura right now. So you keep running on with that lucky girl, lucky boy syndrome, Cancers, because money is coming. And Spirit's saying that your lucky period is not going to change. Um, it's just your season for luck, right? <laughs> At this time, it's very unlikely that your luck is going to go anywhere. 
um, because you have a lot of sunshine, happiness, well-being come to coming towards you. And all you need to do is follow your intuition. Um, don't allow anybody to stress you out because someone could try to throw a curveball at you guys this week. Um, and yeah, the eagle's just telling me that you guys got a lot of freaking dope shit coming and you're seeing things. <laughs> One of these things coming towards you guys is a beautiful relationship. Like Cancer, if you're seeing this, there's love coming toward you. Right? As well as so for some of you, that's leadership as well. Or you could be attracting a lover who is a leader. You could be a leader. Right? So Metatron is saying this is your wake up call this week to, you know, trust your gut. Spread your wings and fly. Know that you are seeing things from a higher perspective. Um, you know, allow yourself to evolve. Birth whatever is trying to be birthed through you because you guys might fuck around and find your purpose or your soulmate in the next few weeks. I love you guys so much.